So in this example, now we're not trying to find the missing side length. In this example, Zach, we're trying to find the missing angle. So it's a little bit different problem. All right? And so in this example, again, the first important thing, the main important thing, though, is just like we did before, Kaylin, we have to identify which trigonometric function we deal with. Remember, sine represents opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent, opposite over adjacent. So before we get to what type of problem we need to use, we need to make sure we identify what information are we given in the problem. So first thing I always do is identify the hypotenuse. And this time, the hypotenuse, I'm not given any information. right? So therefore, I'm not going to use sine or cosine because those both deal with hypotenuse. I am now, I notice that the, the sine length between my angle and the 90 degree angle is my adjacent side, always. So if that's adjacent, that's hypotenuse, that means this side is opposite. So going back to my sheet of paper, we look at it and say, what is our only trigonometric function that deals with opposite and hypotenuse? Tangents. You guys almost scared me like you didn't take geometry before. So that's going to be your opposite over adjacent. All right? So now we have tangent of theta, which we don't know. We're trying to figure out tangent theta, equals 3 over 6. OK? Um, now, the next thing is that kind of comes up, guys. If you guys remember, if you're solving equations, we, when solving equations, we use inverse operations, right? If, if you have x plus 2 equals 10, to solve for x, to undo adding 2, you subtract 2, right? To undo multiplying, you would divide. To undo squaring, you would take the square root. Well, in this case, we need to solve for theta. So that means I need to undo tangent. So to undo tangent, what we're going to use in your calculator is tangent inverse. And then, uh, is it OK if I rewrite 3, 6 as 1 over 1 half? Is that OK? So now I have tangent inverse of tangent. Well, that, those are inverse operations. So I'm left with theta equals tan inverse of 1 half. Now again, it depends on what we want the angle. Do we want the angle in degrees or in radians? I'm going to say in this case, we're going to want the angle in degrees. So now what you're going to do when you plug, turn on your calculator is you're going to hit second tangent, which will do the tangent inverse, which is right above it, and then of 1 half. And then when you type that in, I'll use Mateos. You in the right degree? You didn't even change your degree yet. What's wrong with you? So you do second tangent of 1 half, and I get 26.565. I'm going to round it to the 10th, which would be 26.57. So theta is approximate 26.57 degrees. OK? So why don't you guys spend just about a little bit of six minutes working through these problems, making sure you guys know how to do this. I'll walk around and answer. Actually, don't chase me at all. Hmm?